Happy Sunday, guys! And thank God, it's Sunday! Nahirapan mo ako sa it's kasi meditator ako. Sinuot ko na dahil nga, sabi ko nga, pinapagalitan ako ni Heinz. Pag hindi ako nag-retainer. <laughs> Ayan. Ah, tawag dito? Ah, nag-breakfast ako. Pero ano lang, cheat day pa rin. <laughs> May nagbigay kasi kay Heinz ng Choco Flakes. Ang sarap ng Choco Flakes sa, ano, sa Baguio, ba diba? Tsaka special yung binigay na Choco Flakes na binigay sa kanyan. Nang sa team niya. Kasi galing Baguio. Pero masarap din yung white chocolate. Ay, white Choco Flakes. Ay, white, white Flakes at or something. Yung sa Baguio, yung white. Masarap din yung white. Pero ito, masarap din yung chocolate mismo. So, ayun. Yun yung breakfast ko. Ang sarap niya. Wala lang. Naka-addict. Baka dalhin ko yun mamaya. <laughs> Dahil bukas, balik diet na ulit. Ah, uh, uh, Monday to Friday na naman. Ayun. Bali, magpa-practice kami tumakbo by it's either Tuesday Tuesday or Wednesday kasi syempre kailangan din namin mag-practice na hindi lang uh, workout workout kailangan namin tumakbo kasi 10k ngayon tatakbuhin namin excited na ako sobrang excited wala lang and baka sa ano sa um, next week nasa BGC kami kasi ako kasi uh, uh, may, may party si Lahain sa, sa work so uh, sunduin ko siya excited lang ako basta balitaan ko kayo and yun masabihin ko <laughs> wala ko sabi basta excited na ako sa mga darating na araw as in looking forward ako palagi dahil grabe mag ano ba, grabe mag bless si God ang daming surprise si God sa amin nakakatuwa lang and konting tiis na lang uh, konting tiis na lang dahil <clears throat> malapit na rin matapos yung car and makabili na ako ng laptop tsaka camera Pero iniisip ko kung anong, syempre gusto ko quality na rin na camera bilhin ko. Kaya kailangan ko na rin mag-ipon once na matapos na ang aming mga bills or yung kotse. Kasi grabe talaga. Ang laking ano, ang laking, ang laking adjustment din sa amin kasi yun nga ang laki ng binabayaran namin monthly. Pero thank God at pinaprovide niya. Naniwala kami na binigay niya sa amin to kaya pa-provide niya lahat. Kaya excited lang ako. Looking forward ako next year. Kasi, syempre, uh, gusto ko rin naman kahit papano na quality rin yung napapanood nyo. Na, napapa, napapanood nyo. Kasi itong phone ko, sa likod lang siya maganda yung quality. Sa harap medyo hindi sakto lang. Alam mo yung sakto lang, pero pag likod yung ginagamit nyo. Kaya nahihirap naman mag-vlog na pa, har pa talikod yung camera. Kaya, di bali, tiis-tiis lang. And, ano lang yan. Sig, ano lang, tiis is and konting, ano lang yan, work hard lang yan. <laughs> Ayoko lang din siya pa madaliin, kasi pag binadali ko lahat ng bagay, baka wala lang kaming makain, alam mo yun. Kaya, tiis is lang, konting panahon na lang naman. <clears throat> Ayun, ang iitin ko na rin yung food ko, dapat mag-workout ako, kaya para habi ko gusto ko magpahinga sa Tuesday na lang siguro ako mag-workout, tapos or sa Wednesday. Depende. Hindi pa namin alam kasi baka, di, di rin namin alam kung saan kami tatakpo pero bahala na basta makaabot kami dapat ng at least 10k ang ma testing namin takbuhin. Tapos bag, basta 2 weeks before nung Color, color Manila magpa-practice talaga kami yung tumakbo kasi hindi, hindi enough yung workout workout lang. Kailangan talaga ma-train din yung legs namin. So, kakain muna ako guys. Mayroon tayong magchikahan. And grabe, sobrang pinanood ko naman yung vlog kahapon. Tawang-tawa pa rin ako kay Ate Joanna. So, hindi ako makaget over. <laughs> Baliw lang. So, mamaya na lang guys. Hindi ko na nakwento kagabi sa inyo kasi na-end ko na yung vlog. Tapos, nung nag-prepare na ako ng food ni Heinz, nag export na ako nun. Kahap, kagabi kasi, sabi ko, hala, wala kang breakfast, di kami, di rin ako nakabili, na wala rin sa isip ko. So, sabi niya, mamaya na lang, pupunta akong tindahan, bibili lang daw siya ng, ano, ng Skyflix or kung ano man. Eh, mayroon, mayroon pa naman kaming oats dito. So, sabi, eh, pagbaba namin, sumama ako sa kanya, bumili kami ng chewy choco, 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 yung chocolate na, ano, tapos mga pochi, pochi, pa sabi ko, cheat day naman, kakain ko lahat ng mga matatamis, lahat ng gato, di kumain kami. Tapos, nakalimutan namin bumili. Yung purpose talaga namin, bumili ng pang breakfast yung nakalimutan namin. So, no choice. Sabi ko na lang na, ano na, ano, prepare na lang kita ng, ano, magpiprepare na lang ako ng breakfast. Uh, mag na lang ako ng water kasi minsan, 
Siyempre, dami na nang inaayos sa gabi, eh, sa umaga, ganyan. So, wala siyang time mag-ingat ng water. Pero dati, nag talaga yan. Pero yung maaga siya umaalis kasi nga, since may rami na siyang responsibilities ngayon, kailangan maaga sa work kasi may mga email-email pa, ganyan. Basta may mga nilagawa pa siya. So, pagbalik namin dito, sabi ko, sige, maka ko na lang pe-prepare. Magigising na ako ng umaga, ng maaga bukas. Tapos, ako na lang prepare ng breakfast mo. Tapos, natutuwa naman ako sa kanya kanina. Nagising ako, di nais ko na yung food niya. May spoon, may uh, mait na water niya. Sabi ko, pwede pa naman habang naligo siya. Ingat ko na yung water niya. Tapos, yung oats niya, nakaready na. Kakain na lang siya, sila, ilalagay na lang yung water. Tapos, humiga na ako, sobrang sleepy pa. Tapos ginising niya ako, sabi niya, dapat pala Joel, nag-vlog ka para maiba naman na i-vlog mo, nag-prepare mo ako ng breakfast, ganyan, it's 4am, ganyan, ganyan, may ganyan pa siya. Sabi ko, oo nga, sabi ko, pero super sleepy pa ako, ganyan. Tapos natuwa lang ako kasi yung asawa ko, alam niyo yun, parang napaka-supportive lahat sa, naisip niya pa yung mga ganong bagay na kailangan ko, i-vlog! <laughs> Naisa na tuwa ako kasi lahat talaga na alam niya magpapakasaya sa akin. Na yung sinasuggest niya or kaya minsan kailangan ganito ganyan or para maiba naman. Kaya lang ako sobrang. Kaya hindi ako nakapag-vlog kaya yung late na ako lagi sa siguro 9.30. Kasi alam niya yung parang pag bumabalik ka na ng tulog mo, parang, ina, parang bagong tulog ka ulit. Pero happy naman ako kasi na, sobrang na-appreciate niya kapag nagpe-prepare ako ng food sa kanya. Kahit napaka-simple, alam niyo, sarap na sarap siya sa akin na kain niya. Iba talaga. So, ayan, ito yung dinuguan pala. Iinitin ko na sobrang sa... <laughs> Initin ko muna and again, red rice pa rin talaga. So, ayan. Yung red rice, tsaka brown rice, same lang pala sila. Kaya lang yung black rice, parang... Gusto niya yung sitray, pero sabi ko baka masayang kasi kailangan pang ibabad-babad or something bago pa siya lutuin. Kaya sabi ko baka masayang pera namin. Stick na lang kami sa red rice. So, makakoti lang namin yung calories niya. Wait lang guys, mag lang ako ng food. Ito guys, so super sarap. Masarap din yung white nito. Pero masarap din yung chocolate, chocolate, chocolate flakes yung natikman ko. Sobra. The best. Ayan, ito na yung mga water. Alam nyo ba, feeling ko, ano lang yan, feeling ko mga 1 to 2 weeks lang yung tatlong ganto namin sa lakas namin uminom ng water. <laughs> hey guys, ayan, gamit ko yung back camera ko para mas makita nyo yung makeup ko. Anyway, gamit ko yung ZA na mascara. Tapos, potion, lipstick from Anastasia. Yung bigay sa akin kahapon na lipstick. Ayan, and then sa blush on ko is gamit ko tong, ano ba yung gamit ko? <laughs> gamit ko yung Inglot. Inglot ba pag-pronounce nyo? And the sweet eyeshadow siya, bigay siya sa akin dati ni, ano, ni, J ni Jaleen. Ayan, and then, yung sa eyeshadow ko is gamit ko yung BH na bigay sa akin ni Ate Mafi nung nag-exchange like, gift kami. Tapos, Anastasia na pang contour. Yun lang, yun lang. Tapos yung lipstick nga ito, ito yung gamit ko. Ayan, tapos, ito siya ko auto focus. Ayan. Sa kilay ko, gamit ko yung mix na binigay sa akin kahapon. And then, yung eyebrow mascara ko, gamit ko is yung, ano niya, para puro ko yun, yun, yun. Uh, basta yung sa Maybelline na brow mascara, yun lang, yun lang naman yung mga nabigay ko sa face ko. And yung buho ko, hindi ko alam ko anong gagawin ko. Yung eyeshadow ko, la, trip trip lang kung hindi ko alam kung Tama ba yung pagkalagay ko? Tinuro lang sa akin ito ni Bab Maria. Hindi ko alam pag biniblend-blend ko lang siya. Mga siguro apat na colors to. Basta four or five colors pinag-combine-combine ko lang. <laughs> so yun lang guys. And siya yung mura na eye curler na bigay sa akin ni Mami Mimi. Hindi ko pa alam gagawin ko sa buho ko. Hindi pa ako makapag-decide kung straight ko lang siya. Parang gusto ko ng something kulot-kulot or hawan ko lang. Depende. Kasi dry yung buho ko. Hindi, hindi ko magamit yung parang mermaid something-something sa hair ko. So, yun lang guys. <laughs> Wala akong magawa kasi dami pang oras. Kinurli ko yung hair ko. Mas okay pala kapag ano, no? Kapag yung hair mo medyo may style yung two-tone or three-tone siya, mas nakikita kapag ano, kapag kulot-kulot. Ayan na, tingnan nyo. Wish ko lang sipagin ako lagi ng ganito yung buho ko. Ayan. Kumanda yung, kumaganda yung color ng hair pala kapag medyo tumatagal na. And yung kinolor kong marshmallow brown, nagbagay siya dun sa dati kong color na medyo mamuti-muti na. 
And nag-blend siya ngayon. Ayan o. Para na siyang ash na ash. Yung na-achieve ko na talaga yung gusto kong color na hindi siya blonde. Hindi siya dark. Pero parang ash lang. Ayan o. Tingnan nyo. Ayan. Parang ano lang siya. Ang tawag dito. Ash na ash lang talaga siya. Ang problema ko lang, wala pala akong hairspray. So, hindi ko alam kung tatagal tong buho ko mamaya. Pero, siguro naman, kasi dry naman yung buho ko. Ewan ko lang kung tatagal siya. Ay, grabe ang init. Pero, nakapa, naka, ano, ako, naka, cardigan ako kasi malamig sa festival, lalo na sa church. Tapos, parang uulan pa. Siguro, parang mainit na kasi sa bahay na kulubak ko, parang ganun. And then, sa kotse ko. Pero, siguro mamaya, okay-okay na. <sighs> Tsaka, ang suot ko pala is naka, ano ko, dress. Ayan. Tapos, gamit ko na yung binili ko na footwear sa, yung brown na may bato-bato, yun lang. Tapos, ito na. Simple lang. And, thank you so much, Ate Cherry. Fully shopped by Cherry itong necklace ko. Ayan. Guys, naalala nyo to? Ikuwes ng puso ko'y ikaw Lahat ng album or song ni Jolina, sobrang fan na fan mode ako. Naalala ko nung elementary ako, yung lolo ko. Habang may fans day si Jolina, umaabsent ako. Tapos sinasamahan niya ako. Tsaka lahat ng movies ni Jolina na panood ko. And then ginagaya ko siya yung mga, yung hairdo niya, yung hairstyle niya. So yung colorful, colorful pa. Naku, super idol ko talaga siya. Talagang pa nag na makita. Dati kasi nakita ko siya sa Burger King, alam ba? Kaya nahiya ako kasama niya, asawa niya. Nahiya ako i-approach. Pero pag nakita ko siya ulit, nako, Julie na fan talaga ako ever since nakatuwa lang. <laughs> Tapos, di ba nagtayo siya ng butik before? Alam na, alam mo. Gustong gustong gusto ko pumunta doon. Kaya lang, sobrang layo sa QC yata yun. Dahil ang dami na yung mga accessories doon. Super colorful niya. Wala na, alala ko lang. Kasi sa song na to. <laughs> Guys, totoo ba yung ano, yung alkaline water? Tumatagal lang siya ng 2 to 3 days or ilang 5 days lang ba? Let me know guys kung totoo yun na kasi gusto ko mag-avail ng ano, gusto ko mag-avail ng alkaline water kaya lang yun nga nag-hesitate ako. Ito na ako sa first day. Bibili mo na ako ng food dun sa pizzeria, yung pepperoni nila. Regular. Extra sago. <laughs> Ayan, bumili ako dito ng zag. Hey guys, ito si Hanger. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Sakto lang yung mga zago ngayon, no? Hindi, expect ko yung pag bumili ka, parang, alam mo, parang sa mga jamba jamba juice, gano'n. Pero wala, more on par yellow siya. Yellow, tsaka parang juice for my life. Quality. Okay. Do not have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when, the, when the Ten Commandments were given to, to the... His phone, his TV, his radio, all of it. Everything about their neighbor, anything that he, that he owns, you just cannot covet that one or desire it. Right? So if you look at deeper in the Hebrew word covet, it means lachmon. Okay, so I don't know if you remember this term, but you know, for our purposes to understand it, lachmon is this. When when the, the tenth commandment was written, it meant to want or desire to the point of seeking to take away and own something that belongs to another person. Think about that. To the point. That are the key operating words. Point of seeking to take away. That means there is already a plan to, to, to get. There is already that, you know, sinister plan to get. Where? Something that belongs to another person. So the question we need to ask today is this. Is it evil to desire or want for things. And earlier, I heard in the front row, the answer is 
No. It's not. Desiring is not evil. In fact, even Jesus himself desired for something. Why do I know this? Luke chapter 22 verse 15 says, and this is Jesus, and he said to them, the apostles, I have earnestly desired to eat and I will show you a still more excellent way. So desiring in itself is not wrong. Why? Because God put that in our hearts. Can you imagine? You have no desire at all. You don't desire to eat. You don't desire to sleep. You don't desire to be married. You don't desire to have a husband. You don't desire to have a wife. You don't desire anything. You are plain, nothing, desiring person. God gave us this gift. It is a gift. And there's nothing wrong with desiring. Okay? Now what can make this wrong or right is this. It's the object of your desire. What are you desiring? Scripture says in Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 21, it says, And sh you shall not covet. This is where it's wrong. The Bible says, If you are desiring or lusting or coveting your neighbor's wife, house, field, servants, business, everything that belongs to your neighbor, then that desire becomes evil. Agree? So, when we desire or lust or covet something that belongs to others, the Bible calls it sin. It's a sin. Have you ever had that, you know, I gotta have that attitude? You know, I gotta have that. I gotta have that attitude. I gotta, I gotta have what they have. No, I gotta have what you have. Have you ever had experienced that attitude? I gotta have that. It's kind of like King David. You all know King David, right? You gotta understand this man. This king. Now, don't get me wrong, because there is nothing wrong when we admire people and their properties. That's fine. Okay. There's nothing wrong when you appreciate what your neighbor has. Or you admire this person because, you know, he's in this position. Okay? How many of you now admire, you know, our president? 91% trust rating. Unprecedented. Think about that. The good news is this. When you get inspired by a person... His, his possession and all of these things, it can actually propel you to doing your best at your workplace. In other words, it acts as an encouragement to you to do that. And that's okay. When you desire some, the, the, the position of that person, you're desiring something that can build you up, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Remember, remember the, the, the commandment talks about love God, and love your neighbor as yourself. So there's nothing wrong when you get inspired and you want to do your best. You have your own house, you have your own family, your spouse, you know, that's okay. You desire these things and that's fine. What's not good is when we start to feel a certain envy. You, you suddenly feel this jealousy. Bakit siya meron? Ako wala. When you begin to look at what you don't have. When you when you start to feel, wait a minute, I, I'm a Christian, Lord. I have been attending the 7 o'clock service for 10 years. And guess what? You're blessing that neighbor. But hindi pa Christian. And you begin to feel that envy. And that envy leads you to comparing yourself to that person. And you say, how come he gets that? I don't. I am better than that person. Did you ever, did you, ever you know, feel that? Don't raise your hands. Okay. But that's who, we, that's who we are. You see, when that feeling of envy comes in, there's this 
there's this last full thing that's happening, this desire now to covet what he has. That should be mine. That should be mine. The fame, the fortune, the money, everything. And you know what? You know what it is? It's called discontentment. When there is such a discontent, this dissatisfaction of what we have or what we don't have. And it has nothing to do with economic status. Okay? You could be rich, you have everything like David, and yet you're not yet satisfied where you are. In fact, we enter a danger zone when we start to compare and say, I gotta have what he has because I don't have what he has. You start now to compare. Now you enter that danger zone of violating the 10th commandment which says, do not covet because there is a discontentment in our lives. So James things. He's a rich God. Let us follow through. James, uh, in the verse 3, you ask and do not receive. Why? Because you ask wrongly. The motive is wrong. The motive is to spend it on your passions. That's why James says, you adulterous people, you do not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God. Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. And the, the danger there is that when we want things, stuff, properties, these are things of the world. It's not of God. It's not of God. Now, I don't want you to raise your hands, but I'm going to ask this very important question. How many of you get uncomfortable when you see other people prosper? Don't raise your hand. Um, you're in Facebook, midnight, everybody's posting, and then somebody posts, your friend posts, Praise God, I have a brand new car! Booty for sure. Everything that, no? And then they post, brand new house! And then you see, pangit naman niya. Sorry, great thing, you're bitter. Somebody will post, uh, finally, I'm preggy. Brand new baby coming along. And then you say, 10 years na kami, wala pa rin. And about this, you just saw your your good friend have a picture on Facebook doing this. I can't engage. <laughs> and you say, bakit siya yun? Eh baka meet lang yan ulang laking yun. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's turn the table. Okay? What if it's you? You. You get the promotion, you get the brand new car, you get the house, you have a brand new baby, <laughs> you just got engaged. I mean, you're blessed. And here you are, you're so excited, you want to tell your friends, you're, you want to celebrate, but you can't because you're afraid your friend might feel bad. I mean, sometimes we just hide the blessing, right? You have a brand new car, tayo mahingay kasi baka ito pong sabihin ng mga tao. You know what I'm saying? And you see, that's not the attitude that God wants us to have. In Romans chapter 12, verse 15, He says, Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. But when it comes to celebration, you know, it's easy for us. Eh? Kasi, di ba, pagka taghirap, May problema, a word with you. Pero pagka bilang na-promote, hindi ka na maka-rejoice. See, that is where envy comes in and starts to infect your heart. If this, the desire now becomes evil, you can't celebrate. Now that desire changes and it leads you to covet and want what is not yours. Let me give you this. See, desiring leads to evil when we desire 
what God did not desire for us. How did this happen? How did we arrive at the point of our lives that we have this? Well, let me tour you, okay? Let's make a tour. Let's have a journey back in Genesis. Oh, all of us grew up in that situation where you say, God don't want that. You see, the problem really is internal here. And it's ouch. You see, it hurts the father heart of God. Because he has something that he desires for you to have, to enjoy. But what do you do? You look for something else. Your desire is misdirected to something that is not of God. And you covet and you end up hurting a lot of people, including yourself. What happened in that verse 6 in Genesis chapter 3? So when the woman saw that the tree was good, was good for food, and it was a delight to the eyes, and to that tree was bad, I don't like the food. I don't like the food that you're giving me. I want that kind of food. It's like saying that, you know, that I don't like what I'm seeing in my life, my circumstance today. I like his circumstance. It's kind of like saying that I don't like your wisdom. I don't like your word. I don't like your Bible. I don't like anything to do with church because I want something else. And we all know the story. What happened? Satan basically lied, deceived Eve. And this is what Satan stole our Father in heaven. He stole the joy of our Father. He stole the joy that was supposed to be shared with you and me. Satan took away that joy. So what's our problem? This is our problem. We are not satisfied with what we God gave us. That's why we complain. Many times we say, you know, God, I, I don't like what's happening to me. I want something else. I want that kind of life. I don't want this life. But yet God gave you that. And there's a reason why He gives us certain things. It's kind of like my daughter. I, you know, she's been and he has something set out for all of us. He desired something, and yet you are desiring something else. And finding this, this contentment really is a hard problem. It is. It's here. It's embedded here. Matthew chapter 15, verse. Um, ganda ng message ngayon kasi nga sharpen niya talaga hindi talaga na yung maiwasan minsan na hindi naman mainggit o makumbare yung, yung life natin sa iba pero dapat dapat makumbare no tayo and isipin natin lagi na may kanya-kanya tayong blessing and i-appreciate natin yun kung ano man yung binibigay ni God na blessing sa atin ay ayun hindi na naman pakit kasi Tapos na yung, yung ano nila, ano yan? Yung presentation nila, kasi sabi ko pa videohan. And kung sino mga artista yung magdajudge na kanila, sabi ko, hindi pwedeng hindi mo ko pa videohan na hi. Na sabihin mo na, please say hi to my wife. Or ganyan, di ba? <laughs> kasi magdajudge daw sa yung mga judges. Judges? Kung wala ka na akong basis daw, yung mga judges daw mga artista and isa doon crush ko baka doon posibleng kumunod crush talaga hindi hinahangaan ka lang yan dati pa so sana nga siya tapos sabi ko hindi pa hindi mo ko pa videohan siya lang magtatampo talaga ako pag hindi niya ako pina pinagrip doon <laughs> ayun lang patawa na kami sa ano dapat mag-SOI kami kaya nang busok na ako baka mag ano kaya lang kaya 
Subway. Hot Subway. Okay, ka rin. No, mayroon akong barkeer merb or something. Panahon na lang ate, so bibili na ako. Bili ako nito. Ay, super ano, lamang. Ano na kung gano'n ako adik. Bahay na kami guys, and ang sarap nito. Kaya lang, ano, mas po sarap yung tinikma ko sa bongbong. Bongbongs ba yan? Bongbong. Bongbong, something ganon. Mas masarap yun kesa dito. Ito, pilit lang. Kasi gusto ko lang talaga kumain kanina. <laughs> Kaya lang mas masarap. Hanap ako sa Market Park uh, next week or this week. Pagpunta ko dun, pagsundo ko kay Hain sa Kidzania. Bibili ako ng ano. Nakarawan um, na yun. Hindi, sa gitna. Yung mga bilhan lang pa sa lubong. Init na yung singaw eh. Mm, gusto ko yun eh. So, yun lang guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bukas na lang. Bukas manonood ako ng sauna ni President Duterte. Wala na na. Excited lang ako sa sauna niya. And 200 pesos per head. 12 pesos per head yung food. <laughs> Gayun na ay shadow ko hindi pa rin tatanggal. Tara, para na tayo. Huwag ka mag-ubod mo niya ako. Wag, ay nako! Pwede na ako ubod ako. Wala ka din ka talaga. Good night ka na. Good night everyone. Today was a great day. Let's see what the price is. Thank you, Lord. Let's see what God has in store for us tomorrow, okay? Ciao. Wait lang. And, ang sabihin ko, ah, nakalimutan ko tuloy. Ayun, ang sarap din talaga nito. Alam, sa gata, gusto mo? Hmm. Alam, sa wala ng option. Okay na lang ito, ha? Hmm. Ayan. Ano ba yung sabihin ko? Basta yun lang, think positive, guys. Kung ano man ang pinadadaan natin ngayon, may purpose sa lahat ng bagay. Hindi ako magsasabang iparimind sa inyo yan everyday. Kasi, syempre, iba-iba naman din yung... Mali mo, may mga accidentally naka, nakaanood ng vlog or kung ano man. Sana kahit pa paano makatulong yung mga pinagsasabi ko dito. <laughs> Ayan, gusto, gusto ko, eh, hindi ko pala nabanggit kanina, guys, yung kilay ko, yung bigay sa akin ni Majoy na NYX, tapos tiligan ko siya ng Maybelline na, nasabi ko ba? Pero nasabi ko, basta, pero hindi ko maalala, pero anyway, ayan siya. Aha, uh -huh. maganda siya dahil hindi talaga siya nabura kahit na nabasa ako ng ulan. So, yun lang, and yung lipstick ko rin, in fairness, hindi siya na wala ako mainin ako ng Fitzgerald din ako nag ano din ako nag uh, ayun nagde-touch ito na rin yung kanina and yung powder yun pa rin yun Laura Mercy maganda rin talaga kahit hindi siya ganoon ka full coverage pero na na-hide niya yung yung mga ano yun redness and ko ano man na gusto niya i-hide and syempre na doctor na concealer so yan guys bukas na lang thank you so much for watching and i love you all god bless bye